sometimes you have a curve and you rotate it around a line. And sometimes you want to know what is the surface area of that um, surface of revolution. Uh, suppose you're painting um, some sort of sculpture. Then the graph, if we have a continuous function, uh, revolved around a line. This gives us a surface of revolution. And the formula is actually quite straightforward. The surface area is 2 pi times the integral from a to b of r, where r is the distance um, to the curve, times the square root of 1 plus fx squared. Uh, f prime x squared dx, or again, we do it in y. Let's try an example. Suppose I want the surface area formed by rotating the graph uh, f of x is x cubed on the interval 0 to 1 about the x-axis. So we want the surface area of the horn. Now I know the surface area is equal to 2 pi the integral from a to b r of x times the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared, put parentheses there, dx. Now, in this case, we need to identify some things. a is 0, b is 1. r is this distance right here to the axis of revolution. So in this case, r of x is just f of x. So we're not moving it about a line or anything. And now we need to find f prime f prime of x is equal to 3x squared. So the surface area is 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 1, r is f of x, so that's x cubed, times the square root of 1 plus f prime squared, so this is 3x squared squared dx. All right, so if I look at this, this is 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 1, x cubed times the square root of 1 plus 9x to the fourth dx. I can, um, I can do a, a substitution here. When I do this integration, I see I have u du. When I do this integration, I wind up with 2 pi over 36, so that's pi over 18, times 1 plus 9x to the 4th, to the, and I had 1, so it's 3 halves, evaluated at 0 and 1. So this becomes pi over 18 times 1 plus 9 times 1 to the 4th, to the 3 halves, minus 1 to the 3 halves, and I get pi over 27 times, now this is not pretty, so just leave it, 3 halves, minus 1, you can get a decimal approximation of 3.563 if you like.